Hi friends, are you ready to do some butterfly art? I think you're gonna like this project. So all you need is a piece of paper, some paints, the colors that you like. Also, you're gonna need black paint. You will need a paintbrush and a cup of water and something to put some black paint on. So here's how we start. First, I'm going to, oh, and you need just a couple of drops of dishwashing liquid. And I'll tell you why in a minute. So what you do is you fold your paper all in half. Make it really good line there. Okay. Then Pick your paints, and you're going to put little drops of paint only on one side of the paper. Put just as good, wherever you want. It can mix, doesn't matter. Um, and what's going to happen is we're going to fold these two sides together and see how it turns out. Um, both sides are going to look exactly the same, and that's called symmetry. And sometimes butterfly wings look the same on each side. And that's kind of why we're doing this. We're going to make butterfly art. Okay. I think that's probably enough. I really like this part. Okay. Now, we're going to fold it over. And then make sure you have something under your paper that it's okay if it gets paint on it. Because some of it might squish out. And then, you get to do this. Mix and mix and mix. And then you don't take too long. You open up your paper and you have a beautiful kind of a butterfly shape. It doesn't have to be perfect though because there's another step to this. So you need to wait until this is all the way dry. And if you don't want to wait too long, your mom and or dad can help you with the blow dryer and you can blow dry it to get it dry faster. So here's one I did earlier. And now we're going to do the butterfly part. So you, this is where you need your black paint. Square a little back black paint on there. And then we're putting a little bit of soap in it because we need our paint to stay wet longer. This acrylic paint dries super fast and you need to have enough time to paint the lines of your butterfly and then fold it over so that it'll stick. Um, if you don't want to do it freehand, you can take a, a pen or a pencil and you can kind of draw the shape that you think your butterfly wings should be, like that. And then just follow the lines that you drew. So we're gonna put, make sure you have lots of paint on your paintbrush. And you kinda do it have to, you could need to do it a little bit fast because the paint will dry. Is it okay if you go outside the lines? And then I'm going to do, I'm going to make this look kind of like a monarch. Or, you know, they have some of the... And, don't forget, you need the body. Okay, hopefully I did that quick enough. Then you fold it back over. And you do the same thing, press really hard so that the paint will go onto the other side. And open it back up. And you have the shape of a butterfly. So what you can do after that, if you want to fill in the lines a little bit more, you just paint right back into your right back over the parts that you need to be, that you want a little bit darker. And then 
after you finish that, after it's all dry, you can cut it out and it would probably look really pretty hanging in your window. So that is our butterfly art for today. Oh yeah, I kept meaning to show you. I finally painted my salt um, craft, or salt dough craft. That looks kind of pretty, doesn't it? Did you guys ever make that? If you didn't, you can go back to the videos and make it. Okay, have a happy day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.